Hello friends and welcome back to another video. I am obsessed with granola. I love everything about it. It's crunchy, it's sweet. Sometimes there's hints of salty and you can customize it to make it your own. There's so many different flavors and you can put so many different ingredients. And anything that you can customize to make your own and add random ingredients to is a favorite of mine. So I just wanted to share with you a very simple base of how I make my granola. I did add a couple random things in there, but please know that whatever you have on hand, you can experiment with and just throw it in there. And I love making my own granola because one, I know exactly what goes into it. A lot of store-bought granola is made with oils and random sugars and hydrogenated this and partially processed that. But friends, rest assured, this granola recipe will use ingredients that you and I are comfortable with unless you want to add oil into it or whatever, girl, that's your prerogative or guy. I love adding granola to my smoothie bowls. I feel like a smoothie bowl is not complete without granola. You can also add granola into a bowl with milk. You can eat it plain as a snack, which is what I do when I get home. I just like reach for my jar of granola and just eat a bunch of it. And then I'm like, okay, I guess it's time to eat a real meal now. You could take it on the go with you, add more nuts and fruits to make it more calorically dense as an on the go breakfast. Whatever you want to do, the granola will work for you. Don't know why that rhymed, but anyway. I also love this stovetop granola recipe because if you don't have an oven or you don't have time to set up an oven, you don't have to use an oven. This is easily made on a pan. It's easy to make, customizable, and the best part about it is that you can add chocolate to it because that's the best part about anything that you can add chocolate to. Anyway, let's get to making some granola. All right guys, so we are going to start with these ingredients right here. We got some rolled oats, toasted coconut, chopped nuts. You can use a mix of whatever, but I just have some almonds and walnuts. I have some goji berries, dark chocolate chips, hemp seeds, cinnamon, a pinch of salt, and three tablespoons of agave. You can use any type of liquid sweetener that you want. I would have definitely used maple syrup, but I just didn't have any on hand. First, get a pan, put it on medium heat, and then put your rolled oats on there and toast it for about three minutes until they start to brown just a little bit and there's a nice little fragrance. And then add in the chopped nuts and make sure when you add the chopped nuts in that you're continuously stirring it around because the chopped nuts can burn very quickly. As you can see, mine got a little dark over here, but it's okay, we're still gonna eat it. After another three to four minutes, when the nuts have toasted more and the oats have also browned some more and are more fragrant, we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients except for the liquid sweetener. Again, this recipe is more like a template. You can use whatever you want. I just had a bunch of random stuff around my house, so I thought I'd just throw it in anyway because that's the only way that they would actually get eaten. So if you don't have goji berries, or you don't have toasted coconut, and you have something else you want to add in, I definitely encourage you guys to experiment and see what you can do with your granola. After you mix together all the dry ingredients evenly, that's when you want to add in your liquid sweetener and continuously mix it on a low heat until the sweetener has dried up and everything is nice and coated with the sweetener. Now I just leave this on the pan to dry out for about five minutes, but depending on how much I have in the pan or how much sweetener I decide to use, it might be more or less. Usually it's good between five to seven minutes. And then I'm just putting it on a parchment paper, as you can see over here, and spreading it out. And then I just let this cool again for another 10 to 15 minutes. That's when I add in the chocolate chips, just because if I add it in sooner, then they would melt all over the granola. My favorite way to eat granola is on top of smoothie bowls, but you can always opt for the classic putting it in a bowl and slicing up some fruit and throwing in some plant milk in there to have a quick, yummy, homemade breakfast. Remember that you can throw in any ingredients that you have on hand, so try adding in hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, any seeds really, or nuts or dried fruit that you want. I promise you, it'll turn out really good. Make sure you add that pinch of salt because the pinch of salt makes everything just come together and it just makes it so addicting and oh, I'm just thinking about it right now and honestly after I film this I'm gonna go downstairs and grab some more granola from my granola jar. Oh yeah, speaking of granola jars, I keep my granola in an airtight jar and it stores for about two weeks but really I don't know that for sure. I'm just taking that off the internet because the granola that I make never lasts more than four days so 
let me know if your granola lasts over two weeks and uh, I will applaud you for having self-control. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you're having a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night wherever you are and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.